feels so right. Yeah. Yo guys, what is up? Max Reno, Borderlands 3 video, and today is a very, very special day because I get to show you guys Amara's new skill tree. Now, I have had the pleasure of getting to play with this for the past few days and testing all the synergies, the interactions, the mechanics, and we'll be breaking down everything you guys need to know about this tree, and it's freaking insane. Real quick before we get into it, the audio for this video probably isn't too great. I just moved into a new apartment, and I haven't had time to get everything set up and the sound, it's a little echoey, so I apologize about that. Lastly, I'm gonna be posting videos on this, so many other things. If you guys haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button, notifications on, you guys know the drill. And guys, with that, let's get right into it. All right, so to start us off, we have Phase Flare, is the name of Amara's new action skill. Now, Phase Flare at the top is the base version of this and then we have three other augments to completely change phase flare similar to how you have phase cast and deliverance and reverberation but phase flare reads amara summons an orb of elemental energy that deals constant elemental damage to nearby enemies press the for me it's the right stick um near the orb ca causes it to fly towards enemies and damage them. Additionally, every time Amara uses a melee attack on the orb, it gains increased damage based on the damage she dealt to it. Press LB to cause the orb to return to Amara. Now, this is a long duration, high cooldown skill that um, you can move around while you're playing with it. So just to show you guys the, like, the base version, when you hit it, I can smack it at an enemy. If I am move on to a different area, I can use that action skill button again to call it forth to me. When I punch it, it's going to fly out and do, um, it's gonna gain increased damage. And the flow of this thing is really, actually really nice. I thought it was gonna be more clunky, um, but having the ability to bring it with you to new areas and it'll just fly to a different area with you is really, really nice. Now, the main thing that I want you guys to understand about this skill is it does a metric crap ton of damage um no joke this thing it's like a truck it'll one shot most enemies in in like most mob enemies and will one shot wotan i should have clips of playing of how freaking strong this thing is one shot valkyries um it is insane now that's just the very beginning. That's the first thing we're talking about at this tree and it's already like one-shotting bosses. All right, so we'll go from left to right. Now, the next skill is trust in yourself. Whenever an enemy breaks Amara's shield, she gains increased reload speed, charge speed, and weapon swap speed for a short time. This effect is doubled if Amara's shield is broken by a melee attack. Pretty solid skill. Um, I'll show you guys the build I've been messing around with in a second, but nice to have those quality of life things. Next up, we have no mistakes in nature. Whenever Amara inflicts a status effect on an enemy, she gains increased melee damage for a short time, plus 65 melee damage for 12 seconds. With Amara and elemental effect chances, this is basically up all the time. So you're basically getting 65% melee damage increase. A good thing to note is this does work with self dots. So if I self dot, you can see that little fist at the bottom. I now have plus 65% uh, bonus melee damage. So you guys remember that weapon, the sellout, right? Um, next up, we have Heavy Rain. Amara's weapons gain increased projectile speed and splash damage. Now, projectile speed, really cool. Um, for example, if you fire a slow moving weapon like a back burner or a fear monger, the pellets will just travel way faster to your target, which is nice. And we're also getting increased splash damage. Now we're gonna revisit that splash damage, but plus 35% splash damage on a T1 skill is really, really nice because um, we also really like picking up arm steel for plus 20%, giving us 55% um, splash damage. Next up, we have Unweave the Rainbow. Amara deals bonus damage of her attuned element whenever she deals melee damage or splash damage. 
So whenever we do melee damage or splash damage, we're going to get plus 33% bonus damage of our attuned element. This skill is crazy strong. Also, note, this is a T2 and it's getting plus 33% bonus damage dealt versus we've been using Forceful Expression, which is a capstone for only 18% bonus elemental damage. And this is going to apply every time we do melee damage. This works with the Face Puncher and we'll get into some other synergies in a second, but this is amazing. Next up, we have Ebb and Flow, another amazing skill. Whenever Amara kills an enemy with a melee attack, she gains a portion of the damage dealt back his health. Now, this is the answer to sustainment. Amara was very locked into having to go to sustainment and wasting a lot of points for melee builds because of how far you needed to go just to grab sustainment because you otherwise had to use a knife train. You can now basically put a point into ebb and flow. You're going to life still 21% of your damage dealt when you kill an enemy. You're doing millions and millions of damage um, with basically any Amara build. And so this skill is amazing. And lastly, on the tier twos, we have go with the flow. Whenever Amara frees an enemy, she gains increased movement speed and weapon speed for a short time. Also, very nice skill. Lots of movement speed from this and gun damage. Now, for the augments here, we have, or I'll do all the augments together and all the, all the things, but to note, we do now get cryo as our action skill element, meaning that Amari now gets cryo, fire, or incendiary, shock, and corrosive. Only thing we're missing is radiation, which is awesome. Cryo synergizes so well with this tree and melee because if an enemy is frozen, they take 300% increased melee damage, which is amazing. Next up, we have Combo Breaker. Killing an enemy with melee damage has a chance to reset Amar's action skill cooldown. Now, this is awesome. When you kill an enemy, you have a chance to just get your action skill refunded. Now, one thing that I did note with this that you guys should know is if Phase Flare was out and my action skill was active and this triggered it wouldn't give me another action skill use immediately on um, on end, but if phase flare's duration ended and then I was on cooldown and I killed something, I would get my thing back and 20% shades is huge. You basically have no cooldown on this thing, um, especially if you're going to like a melee build and it's, it's really, really strong. Um, Next up, we have Joyful Freedom. After activating her action skill, Amara gains increased melee damage for a short time. Also, really, really nice skill. You're going to get 14% um, per point for 5 points and duration 12 seconds. Really, really nice. We also have Burn Both Ends here. After activating her action skill, Amara gains increased threat for a short time, drawing the attention of all enemies in a huge radius. Whenever Amara is dealt damage by an enemy, she gains increased damage for a short time. This affects stacks. This is 5% damage for max stacks of 15, which is awesome because you're going to get a stack anytime an enemy damages you. But this is also amazing because this is, um, and it, I've had a little bit difficulty testing this because you can't activate your action skill and self-apply damage to yourself, which I thought you would. But I believe this is V1 damage. If you guys don't know what V1 damage is, um, V1 damage is part of the damage formula that you have to basically activate or do onto yourself, uh, such as like the Victory Rush, where Victory Rush is if you kill uh, a badass, you get bonus damage. The main thing to note here is that this boosts your melee damage, your action skill damage, your grenade damage, your gun damage, because it's going to boost everything um, so even though this may not sound like the best thing, um, Amara doesn't have any other V1 damage in her entire tree in any of the trees. So this skill will boost your damage up by a ton because it will spread out your damage formula, which is really, really nice. If that, if that made no sense to you, don't worry about it. Uh, I'll probably have a full like in-depth video on it. Uh, and if you don't want to watch that, it's a good skill. <laughs> um, next up we have body and mind. Now this is where, I mean, if things didn't already get crazy, this is where things get even crazier. Kel skill, Amara's melee attacks deal bonus splash damage for a short time. Now, 
This is going to give us bonus splash damage. It's a kill skill, so for 12 seconds, all of your melee attacks will deal bonus splash damage. Now, note that we're boosting splash damage whenever we're doing splash damage. We're going to get bonus elemental damage on top of that. And one thing that you guys need to know about this is every single thing um, of Amara's face puncher, if you're using a face puncher, times 14, which is, is crazy. For example, on Unweave the Rainbow, deals bonus damage over a tuned element. Whenever she deals melee damage or blast damage, you're going to get bonus 33% cryo. This triggers a cryo nova on enemies. Um, these, when you're going to get that splash damage and you're getting that cryo damage, you get cryo novas on every single pellet of the face puncher. So when you shoot an enemy, it looks like there's a huge like cryo plume coming from them and it just obliterates everything. Uh, it does crazy, crazy, crazy damage, which is awesome. We like damage here. Um, next up, we have Free the Soul. Whenever Amara kills a frozen enemy, splinters fly out from that enemy and home to nearby enemies, dealing cryo damage. This skill has a short cooldown. One out of one point, pretty cool. Remember when enemies are frozen, they're gonna take 300% increased damage from cryo or melee, which is awesome. And lastly, we have Atman here before our capstone. Amara gains increased skill damage. Now, um, you may notice that I didn't put points into this. Um, cool skill. There are some like better ways to get action skill damage, such as things like Jab Cross, if you're going to go a route like this. But Face Flare hits like a truck. I cannot stress that enough. This action skill feels so amazing to use because it does so much damage. If you weren't rewarded for moving the orb around, if you weren't rewarded for sending it at enemies and it just tickled them, it would just be kind of an action skill active anoint procker, but you genuinely benefit from having this thing out and using it to the its fullest potential because it'll clear entire packs of enemies for you and be an incredible uh, DPS tool for your use. And lastly, we have one of the craziest skills I've ever seen in a Borderlands game, period. Um, I'm going to read this out and then break it down if, because this is insane. So kill skill. After killing an enemy, Amara ignores enemies elemental damage resistance for a short time. This does not affect elemental immunity duration, eight seconds. This may not sound like the craziest thing ever, but I promise you this is an insane, insane kill skill in this game. All enemies have a health bar or, or type where they're armored, they're shock, and in this game, you, especially on Amara, you typically have a ton of different elements, and all those elements have elemental weaknesses and elemental strengths. This clear the mind skill negates all elemental damage resistances, so you can use all the elements you want and suffer no damage penalty on any of them. This skill alone is a crazy damage boost and allows you to do some stupid, stupid things. Trant resists fire and cryo damage doesn't matter. You're going to do the same amount of damage you do to Trant, a normal enemy, with fire damage. Wotan, immune to or er, resistant to cryo, you can't freeze Wotan normally. With this capstone, you can freeze Wotan. Wotan will straight up freeze because he or it becomes not uh, resistant to crowd. And then you can freeze Wotan. Um, the amount of damage that this can add and just straight up ridiculousness is insane. I love it. Um, and we haven't even talked about uh, these other things. So let's talk about these other things. Uh, we have Glow Up. Glow Up is going to be your team ability. Instead of dealing splash damage to enemies, Amara's orbs grant nearby enemies health regen health regeneration. Amara may also press the R's button while near the orb to send it to a downed ally, granting them a second wind. This is your team player res ability. We loved res in Borderlands 2. This is basically your equivalent. Not only are you going to be able to throw your orb around healing teammates, 
But if someone goes down, you can volleyball smack that orb right into them and they will res them, which is insane. Um, super cool. Next up, we have Shooting Star. Mara summons an orb of elemental damage that deals constant elemental damage to your right. Those press are near the orb because it flies towards an enemy and damages them, which also increases the amount of overall damage the orb deals to enemies. Additionally, the elemental orb continuous, continually fires elemental projectiles at the last enemy of Mara damage. Press LB to cause the orb to return. So the big difference here between the Shooting Star is um, hitting the orb increases the overall damage versus um, it gains increased damage based on the damage she dealt. Um, when you melee it, it's Phase Flare. So Phase Flare, you're buffing it with how hard you punch it. Shooting Star is just going to increase the overall damage. But the, the biggest um, thing that is noticeable here is it's going to be firing elemental projectiles continually, um, which will be your... Um, I've always used crowd, so I just believe they're crowd, but I think they changed your element. Um, but fire these projectiles around at enemies. And lastly, we have Light Fantastic. Mara summons an orb of elemental energy that deals constant elemental damage to nearby enemies whenever Amara damages an enemy and the elemental orb automatically travels to that enemy. Whenever Amara kills an enemy, the elemental orb gains increased damage. Press LB to cause the orb to return to Amara. So if you didn't want to have to deal with pushing the orb around and punching it and pulling it back, um, Light Fantastic basically does that for you um, for the most part, but you also are going to be getting um, the duration on these changes. So like this is the shortest duration at 24 seconds, cooldown is 44 seconds versus this is 30 seconds with 48 second cooldown. So you do have to take into account your duration, but um, cooldown just changes as well. And lastly, we have Expedite. Whenever Amara kills an enemy with her action skill, she gains increased action skill cooldown rate until she activates her action skill again. Basically another way to just spam this action skill or whatever action skill that you want to use. And it's also crazy. Now for the build synergy that I was using, there's so many different ways to play with this and not even getting into like all the new uh, anointments, class mods, and stuff like that. Um, but I was rocking Tempest, Illuminated Fist with a Muse Calm, Brawler's Ward, level one, Fish Slap, Corrosive Stone, White Elephant, Muse with Splash Damage, Action Skill Damage, Jab Cross because I'll constantly be buffing my damage of my um, Phase Flare, which is insane. Arm Steel for more Splash Damage, Find Your Center so I can lunge around and punch things. Guardian Angel, Blitz. Uh, it's just absolutely wild how much damage this thing could put out. And the synergies are insane. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was a longer one, but I think we covered everything I wanted to cover. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And with that, guys, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace! I was putting in